What's up, YouTube? Back with another motivational video. And as y'all see in the title, this one, I want to, you know, talk about, you know, not having a father and how that can affect you and how you can over overcome that pain. Because I know there's a lot of, you know, people without their fathers or anything like that, whatever happened. And, um... Your father left and he's not in your life. And, you know, as a man growing up, that can affect you. I mean, that will affect you no matter how. But that that's going to affect you because, you know, as a as a boy, you want to look up to a, a man. You want to look up to an idol that you can just, you know, look up to and, and, and follow him and see his traits. And like, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, you as a boy, you want to be like, oh, yeah, that's my dad. Look at my dad. Like, come on. As as a as a as a boy, you want that, and um, I can say as I was growing up, you know that did affect me a lot because I just had my mom, so I ain't as a man trace, you know, how to fix a car, how to do a tire, how to change the oil, or you know how to talk to a girl, how to talk to a woman, or just any small things in life that a man supposed to teach you. Like I didn't get those lessons, so it's like I had to teach myself everything and it's you know it's a it's a hard thing to deal with it's like you gotta you can't be pouting you can't just put your hurt and just blame your father like and be like oh you this is this why um I'm this because you wasn't there in my life or you made me like this. I'm in this situation because you wasn't there. Like you can't be like that, bro. You can't be like that. You gotta overcome that. You gotta make that motivate you. And I can truly say, man, some of the best moments of my life was with my father. Like just those bonds. Like a mother can't give those bonds with you and your father. Cause them was like some of the best times in my life. I remember like we was walking to um, cause you know we was poor back then, so we was literally walking to a shelter to eat food. I didn't know it was a shelter. I thought we, I thought it was a restaurant. Like me, all my brothers can vouch, bro. Like we just went, my brothers and my cousins. Like we went to a shelter to eat, and we thought it was. I thought it was a restaurant for real, for real. I don't know why, but we thought it was a restaurant. They food was good. And um, and those walks, just walking down the street, we was walking like a mile to get there. But it was just we were just talking, having fun, and just you know just walking with your father down. It was just quality time, and those times matter. And them was the best moments in my life. I can just imagine that vividly, like every moment of that. Like it was them was some of the best times because when my mom was in prison. Our grandparents let us visit, you know, our father, and we just stayed with him for the weekend. So, them weekends was was great, bro. Them weekends was, yeah, some of the best moments of my life. And I appreciate the little things. And after that, we was, I don't know how old we was. We was young then, but um, after that, you know, he just, you know, went away and all that. But that just, you know, how money and People be thinking you rich and stuff. Just change your relationships and, you know, people, I don't know his agenda or what he think. But um, it just, I think it just lack of communication. He just never gave a chance to uh, talk to me or my brothers. So, he, I don't know what he thinks to be honest because I'm not him. But, um, you know, I'm not going to let him... Um, not seeing me or me just being, you know, fatherless, let that affect my career or let that affect my path. I really use it as motivation every day. Like I be sometimes I just be thinking of them like, dang, and just be seeing like kids or, or you know, anybody like with their father. I'm like, dang, I wish that could be me. But instead of me wishing that could be me and downing myself and just having my head down, I'm going to pick my own head up and be like, I'm a, I'm gonna be greater. I'm a, I'm gonna show you how great I am, and I'm a, I'm gonna show you why you should have been there for me when I was um 
had our darkest times or you know anything because I had to just be my own. I literally had to just be my own man and just teach myself how to be a man. You know, you're gonna make a lot of mistakes not having a father, and um, people can vouch for people. You know, people can vouch for the um, people who watching this that don't have one. And I just say, you know, keep your head up, be strong, and don't don't let that your father not in your life make or break you. Make that motivate you. Make that a stronger man. Make that you want to prove a point to him and, and, and show him that you should have been there from the start. And show him like, yeah, I'm a great son and, and, and that's your fault. It's not my fault. You, you shouldn't be the one that's trying to bag your father to be in your life. No. And, um, but I will forgive him. And I, I love my father. I would never, you know, bash my father and say, oh, yeah, he did me wrong. He's dirty. Oh, uh, yeah, I hate him. No, because he made me. So I have the utmost respect for him. I would never bash him or anything of that nature. Like, I love him just like I love my mama. I don't love my mama more than my dad. I don't love my dad more than my mama. I love them the same. I love them equally. But, um, you know, um, it's mistakes. And uh, it's unfortunate that he's not in my life, but I do love him, and uh, I will never bash him, but I'm just, you know, he motivates me every day. He don't even know that um, me not having a father in my life, he probably brought me to where I'm at today because, hey, my motivation run deep from that because it's like, I wish real bad I real. I mean, I wish I did have one. I don't know how my life would be with one, so it's like, uh, uh, I don't know. But I know it'd probably be better. So, um, I mean, it would be better because, you know, I have a father. And you can, you know. It's just me thinking all the success I had and been through and all the achievements we had. It's just like sometimes I think, dang, what it'd be like if I had uh, these moments, these times to share with my dad. Like, yeah, dad, look at this. Look at that. Like, like it just probably uh, bring me to a next other level. But never know. But, um. Yeah, just stay strong and, and don't don't let that weigh you. Don't let that make you lesser of a man. I just uplift yourself and, and and just say to yourself every day, I'm gonna be greater than what you was. I'm gonna prove you wrong. And always, if he ever come back, forgive him, man. Just just have an open ear. Just have an open ear. But if he talking crazy or trying to talk down on you, just leave, bro. You don't want to hear that because words from your parents will hurt you. And they will hurt you because it's your parents. You grew up with them, so you got a bond that nobody can break. It's like something that's just in your heart that, you know, it's your parents. So stuff they can say can hurt you bad. So if they talking crazy... I would advise just to leave and because you know words words do hurt and um yeah so if your father ever come back just forgive him and uh yeah but I do love my father and um I just want to say it's always hope it's always light at the end of the tunnel if if your father now in your life it's not a it's not saying your life over now it's not don't blame your problems. Don't blame everything on him. Don't don't make that excuse. Don't make that excuse. Just make that, let that make you be stronger. And um, just be a stronger man from that. And, and, and that's going to make you stronger than anything before because you're going to go through those trials and tribulations alone and, and, and you're going to find ways to do stuff that you ain't know how to do. And you ain't even had no handouts or somebody to help you. So you're going to be even more stronger than a person that do have a uh, father. So I can say that, man, because I know there's a lot of, you know, fatherless kids out here. And it's, 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 it's crazy because the rate of it is wild. Like the way the rate of it is wild, man. A lot of. Yeah. But I just wanted to just say that. You know, little you know, speech for y'all because that just was on my heart to you know talk to um people like that because I know it's 
that's really tough. It's really tough. It's really tough that, you know, a lot of people don't even talk about it. It's just like normalized now because it's like me now, too. It's crazy. I'm, I'm, I'm used to it. Like, it's crazy. And, and that's the stigma that black people even have for us. So it's like, oh, yeah, we, we know your father gone. Like, it's crazy how that is. And it's like we used to it. We hear that. We don't get offended. It's like we, we know we used to it. So it's just like normalized. And that's terrible. And that's terrible. So. But hey, what 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 don't break you? What don't break you only make you stronger. So just be stronger from the situation and just know I'm here with you, man. To all the you know, for all of those kids out here, we we together. We gotta work together and um, we gotta be strong and sh and show people that just us being fathers, we ain't we ain't gonna break, we ain't gonna fold, we ain't gonna fumble. We gonna keep going to our goals. We gonna keep striving for greatness, and nobody ain't gonna stop us. We gonna be stronger than them because we, hey, we doing it on our own. And so, appreciate y'all. Appreciate the fan love support. Stay blessed. Happy holidays. Without further ado, man. Peace and love.